Rockstarmovie.com. Okay, we are back counting down the 100 moments that rocked TV. Now, let's see. In this next moment, there are four guys. There's the short, cute, foreign one, the serious, sarcastic one, the really cute, dumb one, and the not-as-cute, dumb one, and that's it. Here we come, walk down the street. We get the funniest looks from everyone we meet. Hey, hey, with the market. When producers place an ad for four crazy boys to star in a TV series about a fictional band, they probably never envisioned the pop culture craze the show would ignite. It was the Marx Brothers doing songs in between each little bit as they did on TV. It was the Beatles in A Hard Day's Night. The thing about the Monkees was that it was the closest thing you could get to the Beatles. A funny group saying funny stuff with camaraderie that all live together and are nutty and wacky. Do you know we haven't worked in a month? Gee, it seems more like four weeks. On September 16th, 1966, the Monkees premiered on NBC. America, especially teenage girls, loved it. I liked Mickey Dolenz and I liked Davey. Well, I liked all of them. I was a little younger, so I kind of wandered from one monkey to the other. He's in love. Yeah, for the very first time today. <laughs> Even though the Monkees weren't a real band, their hits were genuine. important to get great tunes and so those songs were placed by the publishing company into those shows their songs were written by some of the best songwriters around at the time those are some good rock and roll songs hey, hey, with the while the monkeys aired for only two seasons their music and comedic chemistry remains timeless i think the monkeys will be a show that will be shown for years because it, it never dated itself so you You've got to get on the phone and take the money out of your pocket. Don't go to the pub tonight. Please stay in and give us the money. There are people dying.